I want to show you this really fast. It's interesting. Um, some of you might be aware now. Some might not. It's possible, I guess, that um, Joe Biden called Trump supporters trash, garbage, garbage. Isn't that amazing? And and when he said it, I'm looking at this guy, and you can see that in him there's no love. No love. But when I heard him say it, or saw him say it, or it looked like he was saying it, it sounded like him to me, I thought that I realized that these people are desperate to win. They want to stay in power by any means necessary. But when Joe Biden said it, and when Big Mama Michelle was attacking and carrying on about Trump, and this empty female that's running, I realized that these people are no different than the average human being. I want you to smoke on this. Have you noticed that when things don't go your way or when you don't get what you want from someone else or when you get angry at someone for whatever reason, don't you call them names too? Don't you personally attack? Don't you go into an animal-like fighting mode? And when you saw this with Joe Biden, did it remind you of yourself? Or did you just say, oh, this is just a Democrat and it's just a political thing? Or did you realize this is all human beings, except for the, the few who are working on themselves now to overcome. Did you realize, wow, Joe Biden no different than me. I'm no different than Joe Biden. That's how I attack people. That's how I try to hurt people. Did you notice that about yourself? Or did you just assume it was Joe Biden and you judged him and felt good about your mess? I'm just wondering, hello, did you pay attention to that? According to Sky News, um, so Donald Trump heard about it, and Donald Trump has sensationally spoken from inside a garbage truck as he took aim at Joe Biden following recent insult, insulting comment delivered by the U.S. president. A lot. Watch this from Fox. How do you like my garbage truck? This truck is in honor of Kamala and Joe Biden. And I have to begin by saying 250 million Americans are not garbage. <laughs> Joe Biden's comments were the direct result of Kamala's decision to portray everyone who isn't voting for her, which is a lot of people, as evil and subhuman. And we know it's really what they believe, because look at how they've treated you. Uh, they treat you like garbage. They treat our whole country like garbage, with open borders, with all of the horrible things they've done to hurt our country. Amazing. We played that soundbite yesterday. Do we have a soundbite when Joe Biden called the uh, Trump supporters? I think we played it for you yesterday. I want to replay it, Nick. Excuse me. Here it is, in case you missed it. Donald Trump has no character. He doesn't give a damn about the Latino community. He's failed businessman. He's, he only cares about the billionaire friends he has and accumulating wealth for those at the top. You know, he says immigrants are poisoning the blood of our country. Give me a break. He wants to do away with the birthright citizenship. Who the hell has said that in the last hundred years? And just the other day, a speaker at his rally called Puerto Rico a floating island of garbage. Well, let me tell you something. I don't, I, I don't know the Puerto Rican that, that I know, or Puerto Rico where I'm in my home state of Delaware. They're good, decent, honorable people. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. His, his, his demonization of scene is unconscionable, and it's un-American. It's 
totally contrary to everything we've done, everything we've <laughs> And so a lot of people are wondering, how did Joe Biden get a laptop? <laughs> Who set the laptop up for him? Some people are thinking that Joe is still mad at the fact that they took him out of the game and just put empty uh, Camilla there. And Joe is still ticked about that. But do you see yourself in Joe Biden? Don't you do the same thing to other people? It's not just a Democrat thing. It's an evil heart thing. What these people are doing in attacking Joe Biden, I mean, um, President Trump and his uh, supporters, it's the same thing you do in your own life. You attack other human beings and you feel good about it because it makes you feel that you, you're, you're okay. It's all the other heart, folks. I want you to see that so you can look at yourself and maybe overcome those that want to overcome. I do know that most people don't want to. And, uh, but it's this political battle that's happening right now to keep the White House is very, very interesting. It is bring, bringing out and showing all human beings. But if you're just looking at it in a political way and just thinking your side is right, this side is wrong, and vice versa, they think your side is wrong, they're right, you're just going to see it as that, and you're not going to see yourself. You don't just disagree with President Trump and President Trump supporters. You hate them. Or you don't just disagree with Camilla Harris or Joe Biden and his supporters. You hate them. You have taken politics like a personal identity for you. And somebody is messing with your false identity and you don't like it. It's interesting to see that. But it's every human being, except for those who started to wake up by forgiving, dropping the anger, and, and overcoming that nature. But it's every human being. That's why you can't trust human beings. So what Joe Biden said about Trump is what every human being does. If you want something really bad and you're not getting it, you attack. Even in husband and wife, boyfriend, girlfriend relationship, don't you attack one another when it doesn't go your way? You attack. You don't just walk away from it or you don't express yourself without personal judgment. It's a spiritual battle, folks. And it played out alive and well in this um, election time. When some people are saying that the White House says that President Biden did not call Trump supporter garbage, even though you just heard it. You just heard it, right? You saw him. You heard it. But they're like, oh, no, you didn't really hear what you heard. You didn't see what you saw. Why is this from Fox News? The White House is standing by their statement saying that President Biden did not call Trump supporters garbage. Watch <laughs> this. Just to clarify, he was not calling Trump supporters garbage, which is why he put out. This is why he wanted to make sure that we put out uh, a statement that clarified what he meant and what he was trying to say. And so just want to make that very clear for folks who are watching. House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer and House GOP Conference Chair Elise Stefanik are now accusing the White House of releasing an inaccurate transcript of Biden's remarks. So the White House transcript added an apostrophe to the word supporters to indicate that Biden was calling the joke made by a comedian during Trump's Madison Square Garden rally garbage and not his supporters overall. But House Republicans are not buying that explanation. They say, quote, instead of apologizing or clarifying President Biden's words, the White House instead sought 
to change them, despite them being recorded on video, by releasing a false transcript of his remarks, White House staff cannot rewrite the words of the President of the United States to be more politically on message. So now, Comer and Stefanik are warning that White House officials may be in violation of the Presidential Records Act, and they are now demanding the White House correct that transcript. Guys. Amazing. Amazing, huh? You know what the uh, great white hope said about it? Forgive him. Forgive Joe Biden. He know not what he's doing. He know not what he said. Forgive him. And the president is just moving on. He's on that narrow path. And he's untouched by what Joe Biden said. And as a result of being untouched by it, he knows how to use it to get his message across. Hey, I'm the right guy. We're going to save America. We're going to make America great. He's not, if you notice, he's not angry about it at all. Forgive him. He knows not what he's saying. The average person would never say forgive them. They know not what they do. It's so interesting to see this and to watch it at a distance, meaning like keeping a little space. And if you were paying attention to you, you would be shocked that you're no different. All the personal attacks, the name calling, the joy of seeing someone else suffer, it's you. Is every man and every woman, human beings are evil. And you're not just happy to win this thing because you want to make this country better. It's, a, it's an emotional, personal thing for you. You want to bring pain to your enemy. At least you think you're an enemy. What a mess! When will you wake up? When will you become one with yourself? If not now, when? It's just an election. And it's important in that we need the right man in there, of course. And in my opinion, it's the great white hope, Donald Trump. But it's all personal. I see people in the gym fighting with one another. Not like fist fighting, but yelling and screaming at one another and angry at one another over politics, over something that someone else is doing and saying. I'm like, are you insane? They're taking it as a personal identity. They have identified with being a Republican or being a uh, Democrat. And then the ones, oh, independent, the independent people are on a trip too. Oh, they think they're better. They really think they're better. Oh, I'm an independent thinker. If you ain't made up your mind by now, you ain't no independent thinker. But it's, it's amazing to see human nature. Why do you take on the identity as a Democrat or Republican or independent? Aren't you tired of identities? Aren't you tired of living in a hell of identity? Why don't you lay down your identities and just be you? You identify with everything, even with animals. You kiss the dog and the cat. You give the dog a bath. And you love the dog. The dog dies, you cry. I'm like, what the? But I'm in it. Pay attention to that. Pay attention to you and see that Joe Biden is every one of you. He's every one of you. He's every one of you. Your anger is no different than Joe Biden's anger or no different than the Democrats toward the Republican and Republican toward Democrats. Ain't no telling what's going to happen Wednesday morning when we wake up after the election or the night of. Normally you don't know it until the next day now. 
and not even then in some t- cases. But drop your anger. You don't need to be angry about this. Drop your anger. Anger is evil. You don't need to fight. Family members are fighting one another over this, over the politic things. You can, you'll have a better time if you didn't take it personal, if you didn't identify with it, with anything really, but with this. Friendships, well, so-called friendships are ending. Husband and wives are fighting over this. Even uh, there's this so-called actress in, either implying or telling women to lie to their husband about how they're voting. You say you voted for Trump, but go into the booth and vote for uh, Joe, uh, uh, this woman, whatever her name, Camilla, and, uh, but don't tell your husband. Isn't that amazing? Don't tell me the human heart is good. There's nothing good about human beings. Zero. Nothing good about human beings. Amazing. And Trump is an interesting guy in that Trump is being led, it appears, Trump is being led by a different spirit that even his supporters don't recognize. They know something is different about him, but they don't know what. It's amazing to see in a big way how Trump is dealing with the issues of life. It is absolutely mind-blowing. And you can do the same if you drop your anger. 